Okay, man. I'm going to give you all the tea. I'm going to give you all the tea, okay? I'm going to give you all the tea. Uh, Ice tea plus watermelon lemonade breast cap and hat. Well, okay. Let's set this up, y'all. <coughs> I'm going to make it real obvious. Real simple, okay? Real obvious, real simple. So, growing up, I realized I wasn't being accepted in public in the community. Like in public, in the community, I was like, you know what? I wonder if I go to church and have the preacher or pastor pray for me. You'll go to church because you know everybody's accepted that church. Anybody in the, in the community are accepted in church. If you know, accept if you're not being accepted in the public in the community. Okay, there's churches that will accept you. You go to church, say, preacher, pastor, I'm not being accepted by the public or the community. Can you pray for me? Is there anything you could pray that might help me feel like I'm being ex like feel like I'm special inside, so I feel like I'm accepted in the public community? So I don't do no stupid ass shit. Okay. It ain't, really being, it ain't about being accepted by the public in the community. It's how you feel inside about being in public in the community. People, some people, that's how, the, that's, how the public, that's how they are. People don't give a shit. You know, some, well, some people are nice, some people ain't. But you just go to church. You just go to church and say, preacher, pa you know, pastor, I'm having I'm having difficulty, difficulties maybe accepting yourself in public in the community or... Or you're just not being accepted at all in your public community. Just go up, go to the pastor, go to the church, ask the preacher and the pastor to pray for you about whatever you feel you need. Like if you feel like, well, I'm not being accepted by the public or the community, or maybe you need a job, or maybe you need a better education, maybe you need maybe maybe you need help uh, financially. That's that's what churches are for. They'll pray for you and talk to you, you know. Uh, you know, church, churches, they, they accept everybody in the public in the community. Well, that, that was my only option. So I go out in public in the community as a kid, and I'd just be out there by myself, you know. And I was like, you know what, I'm not being accepted. And I was just go to church and I had the preachers, you know. Pastors pray, and then you can sit there and listen to them talk, and like the service, you know, like the Sunday service, you know, Wednesday. So you know, you know how they have services in church on Sundays, like the Sunday service. And you can just go in and chill and relax, and you know, listen to the preacher and the pastor, you know, whatever they're talking about, and then, and then you go out. And they got food. And you can eat, and you can talk to the people that are there. And then they do like little, they do like little Bible studies. You can sit in a little room, and you know, get your Bibles out and discuss whatever the top topic is that's being discussed. And that's what churches are for. And if you if you feel like you're not being accepted, go to church. It's only what how many two hours two hours on Sundays? It's like from what from like ten. 10 a.m. to 12 p.m. I mean, or yeah, 10 a.m. It's only a couple hours. I'm going to church and I sit there, and you know, it's only it's only like two hours at the most. You just go in there and do whatever, and then leave and go go about your business. That's simple. My, I used to have family members come pick me up. Go to church. Yeah, I got nothing to do. And you come pick me up and go to church and be there for about two hours. Come home and be free to roam. Simple. You'll, you'll get it. Churches accept it. All churches are in the public and community. And they accept anybody in the public and community. Just go there and, you know, just be friendly with them. Be nice. Let, tell them your name, what you're doing there. You know, tell them you need prayer. Say, uh... Oh, uh, say God sent me here. Uh, I need the prayer. I need somebody. He, I heard God talking to me. He said, uh, "Go tell them that uh, you need prayer." That's what I did. 
I go there and be like, oh, I, that's what I do. I tell the preacher, I'm like, oh, God told me to come here for prayer. But God, God told you to come here for prayer? I was like, yeah. You know? You know, sometimes you just, you got to do what you got to say what you got to say, you know? If you, if you can't take it, think of, think of something smart to say. Like, I'd go there, I'd be like, God told me to come here. For what? A uh, prayer. Just be smart about it. Just be smart. Go to church and they'll be like, well, what do you want? I say, uh, God told me to come here for prayer. Well, what what's God, what, what God wants you to pray about? He, um, not being accepted in public in the community. And then the preacher, they say their prayer and stuff. And they're like, you know, it's a nice meeting. You just leave. It's that simple. 